The 5th District is diverse, to say the least. Its 10,800 constituents range from the very wealthy to the very poor. It's close enough to downtown to inherit some of that area's problems and far enough away to retain its neighborhood flavor. It's a melting pot of sorts, and that may account for a number of issues up for debate in this year's council election. Crime. I mean, we've had the murder of the manager at the Bird Theater. We've had the murder of the manager at the service station at Matter and Kerry. Uh, we've had talk about uh, crime down Franklin Street. We've got uh, questionable ladies of the uh, street appearing nightly on uh, Broad Street. We got uh, things going on uh, in the areas immediately adjacent to VCU. Harry Bradley, a business consultant, is one of four candidates seeking the 5th District seat currently occupied by Henry Richardson. He believes the incumbent isn't accessible to his constituents and not active enough in community affairs. I feel that people in the 5th District and in Richmond, maybe uh, a lot of places, have lost their, uh, their faith in government. They, uh, they feel like the quality of life is going to deteriorate more and more, and there's nothing they can do about it. Frank Ray is a self-employed commercial artist. He, too, believes crime is the major concern of 5th District residents. However, Kali Burton, a planner with the American Cancer Society, believes neighborhoods need primary attention. We have got to have strong, viable neighborhoods uh, in our city. And my personal opinion is that there has been much more stress on downtown development, although that's needed also but it should not be done at the sake of neighborhoods, and it has been done at the sake of neighborhoods. Incumbent Henry Richardson says his opponent's allegations against him are surface and trite. He says his district is pushing ahead with progressive leadership. Bird Park traffic congestion, calling for more foot patrols, lowering of the tax very recently, uh, the stopping of the Project One design to exclude Jackson Ward. There are a number of issues, and I doubt that there's any other single council member who has been any more vocal in representing the interest of his district than I have. Dennis Edwards, WTVR News 6.